All right, go ahead. Oh, well, uh, I'm down here because, uh, well, you know, it's uh, served all my adult life, military and law enforcement, and uh, the reason why I've done all that is I took an oath in military and law enforcement to protect the citizens of this nation and protect the Constitution. And in my personal belief is that any sort of ban on really any type of firearm, including the NFA, is a violation of the Constitution. And it's a complete slap in the face of everything that I've sacrificed and everything that I've fought for. Uh, you know, it's, I've been overseas. I've seen tyranny firsthand. I've fought against tyranny. I've, I've fought so little girls can go to school and not worry about being beaten to death. Uh, you know, I fought so that way people can walk down the street without worrying about their government shooting them in the face because they're from a different tribe. So what I'm worried about here is that if this assault weapons ban gets passed, it's a stepping stone because that's how Congress works. That's how the government works is that, you know, contrary to a lot of people, what they believe, people in power are not idiots. They're there because they're intelligent. You know, it's, uh, you, know, you think about the old cliche, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was elected by a completely democratic process. Very charismatic, very intelligent person. And he was able to commit the atrocities that he committed. Because people agreed with him, because he was charismatic, he could speak uh, just like a lot of these other politicians can't speak. And what we need to do is be careful of the, the stepping stones that they take. And if we give them an inch, they take a mile. We let them pass this. They're going to eventually, like Feinstein initially instituted a bill saying registration, you can't transfer firearms. Uh, whenever a person dies, has to be turned in and destroyed. Uh, I'm, I'm fearful that something bad may happen in the future. Right now, it's not as big of a deal, but soon it might be. Well, realistically, if something does pass, like would, what, do you, what, what would you foresee? Would people abide by it? Would they consent? I mean, like I would hope most folks would just choose to ignore those people who claim authority over them. You know, I well, mean, realize that. But you know, again, with my background, military and law enforcement, uh, you know, an unconstitutional law is not a law. It's a direct act of treason, and uh, you know, as a law enforcement officer and soldier. You have to uh, go against those laws. In fact, there's laws in place saying that if you you are bound to disobey an unlawful order, and you know it's uh, and if you go along with it, you're submitting yourself to the tyranny. You're you're basically saying that you're okay with it and that you want to enforce it. And uh, hopefully, law enforcement, military, they don't have to go along with it. They don't, they don't have to submit to it. They can make their own decisions. They're not robots. I wasn't a robot when I was in the military. I'm not a robot now. I won't do it. Um, it's, uh, it's a fine line. Of course, there's consequences for everything. Uh, but right now, what we need is we need a, a leader to centralize around because too many people are spread around. Not, not enough people want to get involved in it. And so we need unification. With unification is strength, the United States. And uh, we're separated. If everybody's off in the four corners, whatever, feeling now, uh, maybe not, you know, it's not gonna work. It, if anybody's gonna resist, there has to be a unification. So, you know, there's consequences to everything. So if you go along with, if you don't go along with the ban, if you resist, there's a possibility government doing what the government does imprisonment the uh, fines confiscation whatever but i mean it's just a uh, consequence you got to figure out what is what is best for you and your family um i'm not going to advocate one or the other you have to make that decision for yourself but me personally i'm going to follow what the constitution says right on man well i appreciate your time appreciate you getting out i've seen cop block before oh yeah some of the things are kind of annoying yeah but some things uh i you know, being law enforcement, um, I'm strongly opposed to 
uh, corruption yeah. in uh, law enforcement. And I, I've, I've watched some of the videos on YouTube, stuff like that. And it pisses me off some of the things that some of the officers out there yeah. do when they are sworn to uphold protect. Uh, and to me personally, I've seen some, some things that are questionable, and I've brought it to light saying, hey, you need to cut the shit out. You know, you're not here to be a thug. Right. You're here to be uh, an upstand most most upstanding member of society. Mm -hmm. you know, you, you're here to protect everybody. You're here to protect our laws, our way of life, our ideals. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's sad that that's out there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, for me, yeah, my, my goal is for the site not to need to exist, you know, but yeah, yeah. I mean, we see stuff like this, you know, and uh, we need to... Yeah. Need to keep getting out there and reaching more folks, sharing ideas, like yeah. you say. So. Some, some of the things I've seen now, it, I, I have seen where cops are basically they're, they're just doing their job, and mm -hmm. somebody's like, "What are you doing? Why are you hitting them?" You know, yeah. when they're just doing a uh, submission technique, so that way the person doesn't hurt themselves or others. You know, and, uh, so some right of things are, are, are good, some of the things are bad. You know. So yeah. Well, if you see some things, <coughs> you, you agree or disagree, I hope weigh in, and, and hopefully we can learn from each other and yeah, yeah. get better together. You know, the thing is, I was thinking about the other day is I. Like, I was also watching that the show Young Turks. Uh, I like to watch across all the broad spans of ideas. And, um, plus, I like to get the idea of what the enemy is thinking, right. you know. And, uh, but what I see with the Young Turks is that they also oppose a lot of the things the government is doing right now. And so, what we need to do is that we need to recognize that we have a common enemy. Yeah. And we need to unify again. Uh, we need to pet, quit the petty squabbling for now. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Have some, and we need to unify together. You know, forget about forget about uh, you know gay rights. Forget about all this bullshit right now, and we need to focus on what the core of America is and how. And because everything goes back to the Constitution, gay rights wouldn't exist without the Constitution. You know, uh, you go to Iran. Uh, you go. You go to any tyrannical country, and uh, but uh, go to uh, Saudi Arabia sometime. See what kind of gay rights are there. Mm -hmm. You know, go to go to Saudi Arabia. See what kind of women's rights are there. Women aren't even allowed to walk out in public without a man with them, and they have to have their face covered. It's uh, it's atrocious. Uh, what's around the world, but uh, it doesn't matter what's going on over there. It matters what's going on here. And we need to be careful because tyranny does exist in the world right now. It is possible. Tyranny has existed in the United States before. It's not over uh, from happening again, you know? Right. It's, uh, this country is very young. Yeah. For me, it comes down to ideas. And if, uh, you know, ultimately it's like self-ownership, self-government, yeah. and freedom coupled with responsibility. And, and so there's not even a thing such as gay rights or women's rights. It's just individual human rights, you know, well, in yeah. terms of human living beings, that live. Yeah. You're a human being. You have the right to your body and your life, your property. You have the right to live it how you want. Yeah. Uh, as long as you're not hurting somebody else, who am I to tell you? How to live, you know. It's, um, yep, exactly. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. <laughs> right on, man. Well, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Take care, man. I'll check out your. Uh, yeah. That's more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got any feedback.